gentlemen, welcome to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it as per K. I'm your host, put the boss. First things first. Hey, hey. Kuna episode tulikuwa nayo tukauliza wadau wa Kiswahili. Vigogo, watu saidie. Eh, kipepeo iko katika ngeli gani? Eh, hey, hey, watu walinichangamkia very fast nikaibua kikepe, kipepeo ni ngeli ya awa. Kwa hivyo unasema kipepeo a. Siki si kipepeo ki au cha. Asanteni sana kwa kutusku, kutukosoa. Hapo tuko chonjo. Umeongeza mazee kwa mawaidha. Correct. Napenda hiyo team Kiswahili. Leo as pake we have a show and a half. Kata yari na dictionary yako, kata yari na notebook, encyclopedia, Google Maps. <laughs> Whatever it is na kubamba ju leo ni mafire. Kuruka. First things first. Wacha nianze hapa hivi to my left ni jue who our contestants are. Madam what's your name and what do you do? Patience Mwenje. Patience Mwenje. Yes. Patience unafanya nini? Mimi entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Yes. <laughs> Biashara inashika. Tuseme. Uh, Karibu sana patience. Sa. What's your name and what do you do? I'm Edgar Mwenje. Yes. I'm in IT support. IT support. Yes. Mwenoti hapo kwa Mwenje tuko kwa brother and sister. Yes. Nani mkubwa? Mimi. First born. Yes. Ah, eh? Kuna wengine juu? Kuna moja. Kuna moja? Yeah. Ah, sawa sawa kaka. Yeah. All right, it team unit waje Edgar. Naitwa Bukitapash. <laughs> Mumesema, mumesema kama jina ya baba inachoma. Jite Bukitapash. <laughs> Mwende sote na. <laughs> All right, that is Bukitapash. Watch to discover. <laughs> Sa, what's your name and what do you do? I'm Fred Nyaribo. Fred Nyaribo. I'm a student at MKU. MKU, na sobe ni ndugi yangu? I'm a statistician. Huh? Statistician. Statistician? Yeah. Sita ulizo kimaliza, kusomu unafanya nini? Lakini na believe kuna kitu ya maano. <laughs> Karibu sana Fred maze. Madam, yeah. what's your name and what do you do? Um, I'm Holga Kimunto. Holga Kimunto? Yeah. All right, brother and sister. <laughs> yeah. Leo ni brothers and sisters against brothers and sisters. Moto kama pasi. Timi yoni nituwaje? The Nyaribos. The Nyaribos. The Nyaribos. The Nyaribos. But then I'm not in the room. So, Katia. I'm not going to All right. We have the Nyaribos to my right and Mbogi Tafash. AKA the Mwenges. I'm going to come on my Jina. Like it is sour. First things first, we're going to begin with our quick fire trivia. As usual, we have general knowledge, we have sports, history, entertainment lined up for you. But first things first, we begin with general knowledge. They have 10 questions, 60 seconds. If they don't know, I'm sure they know what to say. Beautiful. Sapenda team. Pass. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Every correct answer is going to earn them 100 points. Allow me to begin with Bogi Tafash. All right. Higher. Studio wana piga kelele wana sema muongeza sauti. <laughs> Ata siku shua makosa niyone. Sauti yao nina kwa gugwe juu. So let's see. <laughs> Balance kwa key. <laughs> Alright. So try and be more audible. Alright. Patients, I would like to begin with you. Remember here we cannot discuss. Sawa sawa. Kile mbuna pambana na hali yake. You have 60 seconds. 10 questions. If you are ready, I will begin. Ready? Ready. Here we go. H2O is a chemical formula for what? Time is ticking. Correct! Which one city has the slogan, what happens here stays here? Uh, Vegas. Vegas! Incorrect! Uh, In the Bible, who led the Israelites out of Egypt and across the Red Sea? Uh, pass. Pass! Alright! Uh, Which is the only day of the week that has an anagram? Pass. Okay! Which bird has the longest wingspan? Wingspan? Yes. Flamingo? Flamingo! Incorrect! Uh, what country did Christmas trees originate from? Uh, Spain. Spain! Incorrect! Uh, okay. The United Nations was formed in 1945. What organization did it replace? Uh, pass. Pass! What hunts most, the male or female lion? Uh, the female. Correct! What is the national sport of Japan? Uh, sumo wrestling. Correct! What is a baby elephant called? Uh, Correct! Boki Fatash, Amani Tafash. 400 points so far. 
I know a lot of people say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But as far as a city slogan is concerned, the correct answer is Rome. Ni kuomba tu aliomba tu. In the Bible, who led the Israelites out of Egypt? So, the last time we were Sunday school, I feel. I'm pretty sure I'm not Hata mimi ni I'm pretty house. sure I'm not Fred, you know who said it? Who? Moses. Moses. <laughs> that is Moses. Christmas trees originated in Germany, believe it or not. And the bird that has the longest wingspan is the albatross. Albatross, not the flamingo. And of course, United Nations replaced the League of Nations. That's what it used to be called before. So far, so good. You have 400 points. What's up, Zuri team? Stuffers. Venerables. Yes, no, eh? Mapenda your confidence, Sukona. Women, you know, you can't discuss. 10 questions, 60 seconds time begins. Which type of bird appears on the national flag of Mexico? Pass. Pass. All right. Two or false. Goldfish have a three second memory. True. Incorrect. What is the largest planet? Planet Jupiter. Correct. What are four teletubbies called? What are the four teletubbies called? Pass. Pass. All right. What do invertebrates lack? Backbone. Correct. In bingo, if a caller says knock at the door, what does it mean? Pass. Pass. All right. What is the capital city of Australia? Sydney. Sydney. Incorrect. Which part of the human body have half of the bones? Knees. Knees. Incorrect. True or false? Bananas grow on trees. True. Incorrect. What is official? <laughs> what is official language in Brazil? British. <laughs> uh, I like it. The official language in Brazil is British. Incorrect. The official language is Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. Bananas do not grow on trees. Now you know. <laughs> Okay, which part of the human body have half the bones in terms of numbers? It is the hands and the feet. You have 27 bones on each hand, 26 bones on each foot. You have a total of 206 bones. Mulia Koyote, therefore, half of that, one of three, is covered na mikono na migupe keaki. Now we know. What are the four teletubbies called? Enye miyata sizga kubulemu. What are the other Teletubbies? <laughs> Edgar, who are the Teletubbies? Do you remember their names? Yes, they are Lala and Poe. Where are they? Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky! And yeah. Dipsy. And Dipsy! <laughs> yeah. Correct! Unfortunately, no points for you, but correct! <laughs> and of course, Goldfish have a three second memory is incorrect. Yes, they have a short memory, Lakini. Scientists want to say they can remember things for months as much as they have a short memory. Therefore, you guys have gotten one, two questions correct. The Nyaribos are now at 200 points. As usual, winners or lover, leaders. Mukona <laughs> <laughs> history, entertainment, and sports. Choose ye wisely. Edgar? Yeah. Gani? Entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You sure? Yes. Pesho? Eh? Umakubali? Eh. All right. 10 questions, 60 seconds. Your time begins now. The ethics group in Kenya are commonly known to sing which genre of music? Uh, Genghis. Correct! What is the title of the fourth Harry Potter film? Pass. Pass. Before marrying into the royal family, what was Meghan Markle most famous for? Uh, acting. Correct. What does the National Public Service Broadcaster BBC stand for? Uh, Time is ticking. Pass. All right. The Chronicles of Narnia 
is a children's book series written by which author? Zia Rodin. Incorrect. Adam Adam Levine is the singer for which popular band? Uh, I know it. Time is ticking. Maroon 5. Maroon 5. Correct. Who sang the song with the lyrics Adam una ever wali tenda dambi ya siri? Pass. Pass. All right. In which year did size 8 get saved? 2016. 2016. Incorrect. Which gospel singer now turned pastor sang the song Maisha Finja Finja? Mr. T. Correct. Which Kenyan politician was once part of the gospel musical group Mission Driven? Pass. Pass! <laughs> Senator Sakaja! Ah, oh, hey. Now you know the guy was a serious rapper back in the day for Mission Driven. Alright, so I said God saved in 2012. And then of course, Adam and Eva. Namjua like it's Jujina. Okay. <laughs> Mary Atieno. Oh, yes. Correct. <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia was written by C.S. Lewis and BBC stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. You guys have gotten one, two, three. Questions correct, if I'm not wrong. Four. Okay, I'm sorry. Four questions correct. You are now at 800 points. Bogi Tafash. Pantambua. Okay, Fred and Holga. Is it Holga? You guys have an opportunity of choosing between history and sports. Which one? History. History! I'd like to begin with you, if it is okay, Holga. We can discuss, but I believe you can do this. Ready? Yes. Time begins now. Neanderthals, Rhodesian, Cro-Magnon are all subspecies of which creature? Nendatols, Rhodesian, Cro-Magnon are all subspecies of which creature? Pass. Pass, all right. The first president of Kenya was? Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Correct. Linguistics, archaeology, anthropology are all dash sources of history and government, written or unwritten? Repeat. Linguistics, archaeology, anthropology are all dash sources of history and government. Is it written or unwritten? Unwritten. Correct. Name the type of picture writing used in Egypt. Hieroglyphics. Okay, I'll give you that one. So close. Hieroglyphic. I'll give you that one. Correct. The Oromo, Borana, Somali are all in the group of? Kushites. Correct. He explains circumstances which may force the government to limit the right to freedom of movement and residence. During a disease pandemic. Correct. Which animal is adapted to desert conditions and semi-arid areas? Camel. Camel, correct. Identify two ways used by animals to obtain food during the Middle Stone Age. Hunting and gathering. Correct. Ah, your time is up. Kumbe hapo kwa history ndo mulikuwa munangojia watu. Okay, you guys have got it. My goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Questions seven. Yeah, you missed the first one. Nendatols, Rhodesian, and Cro-Magnon are all subspecies of the Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. So you guys have seven questions correct. Seven hundred points. The Nyaribos are now at nine hundred points. Mbogi Tafash at eight hundred points. In the episode. He in the episode. What are you doing? Kwa two truths and one lie. Ni nona mbio muna peleka na le. This is the quiz show, and we are on to our challenge of two truths and one lie. We are going to read out three statements, two of which are true, one is false. The task at hand is for the contestants to be able to determine which is the false statement. The correct answer will earn them 100 points. The Nyaribos are now leading at 900 points. Hot on their heels is Mbogi Tafash at 800 points. Leaders! Eh, Olga, what's going on? Sawa. Okay, here you can discuss and give me the family answer or the team answer. Sawa, Sawa? Yes. Your statements read as follows. I hope they will also appear on the screen. Statement number one, MacBook Air is the thinnest laptop until now. It is only one inch thin. Two, 
or false. Statement number three. July is National Rice Month. True or false. Statement number three. Clay made mugs were first created around 4000 to 5000 BC in Greece. Discuss and tell me which of the three is false. You have five seconds to do so. Your time is ticking. Holga, I would like to hear on behalf of the team from you. All right, the time is up. Which one are you going to need? Is it one, two, or three? Um, July is National Rice Month. Umesema yoni upuzi. Yeah. Hakuna kitu yote kama National Rice Month. Sini kweli? Yeah. Ah, so kuningana na wewe, a laptop is one inch thin. Wado sijibu, Fred? Yeah. Unakamu tu, hizi ni vitu umetumia shule, laptop. Yeah, one inch thin. Yeah. You're sure? I'm sure. All right. All right. July is National Rice Month. Clay mugs were first created around 4,000 to 5,000 BC. MacBook Air is the thinnest laptop up till now. The correct answer is statement number two. July is not the National Rice Month. It is actually September. <laughs> so 100 points. <laughs> You are now at 1,000 points. Good job. But young, you can make it 900 points. Three statements. They will also appear on the screen. And they read as follows. The top five items in the handbag are keys, wallet, telephone, handkerchiefs, and pens. True or false? Statement number two. Plastic bottles require up to 700 years to dissolve. True or false? Statement number three. The Pope tweets in 15 languages. True or false? Five seconds. Time is ticking. I would like to hear from Petrius on behalf of Team Tafash. Mbogi Tafash. Patience, your time is ticking. Your time is up. The second one. The second one. Plastic bottles. You're new pussy. Yes. Okay. Take the answer. I, I take the answer. Ni <laughs> tarina explanation mingi. Uh, All right, Edgar. Yeah. In your wisdom, the Pope tweets in 15 languages. He could. He could. But mm. Patience. Huh? You want to change your answer? Edgar, final chance. B. B. Yeah. Plastic bottles. Munakufa nayo. What I love na nini ni confidence. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful job. Let me tell you for free. Statement number one is two. Let me tell you for free. Statement number two is also true. The false statement is statement number three. The Pope actually tweets in nine languages, not fifteen. Usijali, unataka shoko uko nayo kwa uso pesho. Hata mimi nilikuwa nayo. Nikishanga nani alikaa 700 years aka confirm plastic in that zone. Nani? But anyway, it is what it is. No point for Mbogi Tafash. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting show. As Pake. Hold on to that dial. We are taking a short commercial break to Kirudi. Nikutafash. Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it just in case you are joining us right now. We have already covered the quick fire trivia. We have also covered two truths and one lie. And so far, Team Denyaribos to my right are leading at 1,000 points. And Mbogi Tafash, aka the Mwenges, to my left, are now at 800 points. A tight race it is. Let's see, Venye Kutakua, as we come to our next challenge of guess the meaning of the word. We are going to give a word. All we are looking for is the correct synonym for that word. 
we are going to give you four options. Here, you discuss. Lakini mukikosa, you guys can snatch 100 points and vice versa is true. Fred, Holga, Mukutari. Yes. Okay, your first word is infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. Options are as follows. A, bulky. B, little. C, kinetic. D, lexicon. Is it A, B, C or D? A, bulky. B, little. C, kinetic. D, lexicon. Discuss and give me your team answer. Fred, I would like to hear from you on behalf of the Nyaribos. Is it A, B, C or D? Your time is ticking. Infinitesimal. Fred, give me your answer. A, B, C or D? A. A. Bulky. Yeah. Infinitesimal. Incorrect. You guys got snatch 100 points. Edgar. Uh, B. B. Little. Infinitesimal. Little. Infinitesimal. Yeshua. You said it. Is it A, B, C or D? Correct answer is B. Correct. 100 points. You are now at 900 points. Can you make this one 1,000 points? Your word is revocable. Revocable. Your options are as follows. A, sealed. B, impeach. C, fiduciary. D, changeful. Revocable, changeful. Patience, A, B, C or D? D, changeful. Yes. Would you have changed your answer? Z. Of course not. I thought so. <laughs> okay. Correct. 100 additional points. It is now 1,000 apiece. You guys can make this 1,100. Your word is olik. Olik. Options are A, mundane. B, epiphany. D, auspicious. Holga, discuss. I want to hear from you. What you guys agree is the correct answer as a team. Okay. Is it A, royalty, B, mundane, C, epiphany, or D, auspicious? Olik. Holga, talk to me. Epiphany. Epiphany. You sure about it? Yeah. Would you like to change your answer? No. I thought so. All right. Incorrect. You guys can snatch 100 points and take the lead. Edgar, patience. Who goes? Uh, talk to me. Uh, royalty. <laughs> Fred, congratulations, Jamaica. Because royalty is correct. 100 points. Haya, more fire is a more fire. Mogi Tafash, can you guys make this 1,200? Your word is peerless. Peerless. Options are A, commonplace. B, abrogate. C, unique. D, innovate. Patience. A, B, C, or D? C. C. Uh. Would you like... I know you don't want. All right. <laughs> All right. I know you don't want. Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct answer is C. Correct. You have 1,200 points. <laughs> okay. I don't know who you can predict today is going to win this one. <laughs> is it Benyaribos or is it Bogitafash? Check on a Twitter. Three seconds for you to tweet. Nakupatia. Let's go. Now that you have tweeted, correct. What are doing here to undercover our leader so far? <laughs> I'm going to extend their lead. Ama muta rega rega mupitwe. Tunengia kwa spell the word. Right? This, of course, is the quiz show. And we are on to our challenge of spell the word. We are going to read out a statement out of which we are going to pick a word. And test them if they will be able to spell the word correctly. I believe it is possible. Your statement reads as follows, Mbogitafash. There was no lack of aptitude to learn in her case. Spell the word aptitude. 
Aptitude, Edgar. I'd like to hear from you. Aptitude. Um, A. A. P. P. T. T. I. I. T. T. U. U. D. D. E. Mm. Correct. One thousand three hundred points. Yeah. All right. Over to you, Dengaribos. Your statement reads as follows. Despite her defiance, her voice shook. Spell for me the word defiance. Defiance. Ah, Olga. The one of you may indicate you already know it. Turn the cars. D. D. E. E. F. F. I. I. A. A. N. N. C. C. E. Correct. I like it. I thought we were taking a gizungu. <laughs> 1,100 points for the Naribos. Can you guys make this 1,300? It is possible, I believe. Your statement reads as follows. A mystery story that will engross readers all the way to the surprise ending. Spell for me the word engross. E. D. N. N. G. G. R. R. O. O. Double S. Double S. You sure? Is it double or single S? Last chance. Patience. Double. You said it. Correct. One hundred additional <laughs> points. Let it go. One thousand three hundred points. Can you guys make this one thousand two hundred? Your statement reads as follows: Security guards brandish automatic weapons in front of all. Poised to ward off potential terrorist attacks. Spell for me the word brandish. Brandish. Okay, I think I'm going to Fred in the Spell it out. Let's go. B B R R A A N N D D I I S S H. Correct. Brandish. One hundred points. He 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 ni mo to. Lakini hata mimi napenda sana kuwajulisha kwamba tunataka kujua mbivu na mbichi tukiingia guess the logo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is the question we are on to our challenge of guess the logo. We are going to display a logo for a famous brand. All they have to do is identify the brand correctly. Our leader so far at 1400 points is Mbogi Tafash and hot on their heels is the Nyaribos who are at 1,200 points. Remember, send us your prediction. Is it Mbogi Tafash or the Nyaribos carrying the day? Watch out, Twinkie Kwenu. Hapa you can discuss as usual. Mukilegea ta mutu aneza kakupita. Your first image is this one. Take a keen look and tell me what thou thinketh. <laughs> Like your reaction, your reaction me, Jani Barik. Any any patients you wanna like for real, like 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 come on, like, like for real, for cheesy. Uh, all right, is it Tuskies? Yeah, like like okay, one hundred points. One hundred twenty cover to opatia kitungumu kidogo. Your next image is this one. Hmm, Edgar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Turn the cards here, Rina. At Rina? Yeah. Ugo Shua. Edgar, Rina. Bada ya kudurigia. Just kiss. Eh? Goja. Ni goja. Two seconds. Ni hiyo ya nyamesema. Hiyo ya nyamesema? Eh. Ugo Shua? Eh. Shikileni hapo. Olga? Yeah. Ni peri tu answer yenu na mapema ndio tujue kama mbonaangukia 100 points hapa imekuamia hapo. Nirina. Ati Nirina? Yeah. Pia unasema hivyo? Ndio ndio. Alright, is it Rina? Let's find out. <laughs> Correct. 100 additional points. 1600 so far for Mbogi Tafash. You guys have a chance of making it 1400 points. If you get the correct guesses correct, Mkutari? Yeah. Next image is this one. Kini ni mboga sana. Mboga sana. Fred. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Oral B. Oral B. Uko na kika? Yeah, uko na kika. Uko na kika? Yeah. Okay. Uko na kika. Let's find out. <laughs> Oral B, correct. 1300 points. Can you guys make it 1400 points? Your next image is this one. Hmm. Toss. Correct. It is toss. Kwa ni leo ni muliza bitu raisi sana ama ni kuna machopi kuruka hapa. Machopi tu. Machopi kuruka. Humility. Anyway. 1,400 points for Team Nyaribos. 1,600 points so far for Team Mbogi Tafash. Wee, wee. Alright. Wacha tukundue venye kutakuwa as we take a short commercial break. Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. We hope you're having fun as you're learning at the same time. So far, so good. What a tight race we have. Hiya. Our leaders to my left, Mbogi Tafash, 1600 points, hot on their heels, hey, at 1400 points, the Nyaribos, I told you, Shika maze simu yako tuma tweet, kulingana na wawe, nani anabeba hiya leo, I can't tell you, it is so tight, but so far so good, we are on to our next challenge of guess the price, we are going to show some products, we have taken time to look at the prices from all our supermarkets, and we have a range within which any answer will be correct. What young? Do you discuss? What you know, Kikosa, when you know, you know, you know, you know, you points. <laughs> Our leaders, Edgar. Yeah. Mimi na shuku. Hey, supermarket, the last day, we'll get you. I have Kumbuka. You have Kumbuka? Kumbuka, this one. Next cafe, classic jar, 100 drops. Mutiani, you 100 drops. Mutiani ni kwa 100 drops. Edgar, nataka kujua ulikumbuka nini? Yes. Talk to me. Um, Your time is up? Uh, 700. 700? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. So ukinunua ines cafe at 700, ilikuja na nini ngine? <laughs> I'm only pure on a trolley. Ni brand. Ni brand. Ah, ni brand. Ah, yeah. Ni brand. Ah, ni brand. Okay. Eh, eh, ni tulie. Eh. Ni, ni tulie. Mbwana utulizi kama tutu. Zimu, zini team answer. Ah. Okay, ulea, ulea ku change. Ulea ku change. Eh? Ulea ku change. Ah. Seme. For something. Four hundred. Where Ah, ah, gotcha. Where Four hundred. Where? Ati? Gapi? Four hundred. Eh. Where? Olga? Say yeni agato. No yeni magato. Supermarket. Gapi? Hmm. One thirty-five. One thirty-five. Next cafe. Four hundred. Hundred grams. Ya chupa. One thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. Ya chupa ilikuwa empty. Ameni kwa lakini kwa. Acha tuyeke 280. Ni wache, ni wache muyeke 280. Ni wache. Mweke ni 280. Alright. Is it 280 or is it 400? The correct price range is anything between 490 and 500 Kenya shillings. Apo ka 280 watu mungu. And then supermarket. What's the name of the supermarket? Kona brand tunajua. Aya. Next product is this one. Happy cow cheddar cheese. Mutiani ni kwa 200 grams. 200 grams. Special. Apa zani kwa 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 kwa
Mutiani ni kwa 200 grams. Um cheese. <coughs> ni bebe. Eh, tonde. Saba tu kama ni kama ngapi? 1 1 Ah, okay. Eh. 3 3 Ah, ni 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 Fred, my name is Sik. Gani. Ni bebe, Fred. So you go pay? 450. <laughs> It is not made in Kenya. Ndugu yangu. Okay. Okay, what what does that mean to ukweli? Ushai tumia cheese. Never. Never. Ah, okay. Nimekuelewa. Nimekuelewa. Ungependa kuchange answer yako au umekuamilia 450? Tumekuamilia hapa. Umekuamilia? Olga. Umekoma for 50. Yeah. Hai. All right. Unaweza jua mtu anajua cheese. Kwa sababu 350 is it correct? The correct answer is anything between 450 and 455. Oh, oh boy. 1500 points so far. For the Jaribos, only 100 points separates the two teams. Tuone kazi, tuone kama mnaweza kupata this one. Jama cream bar soap 800 grams. Olga, eh unataka kama tu unajua hizo. Hizo yumeria tunasema I know this one. Gapi? 800 grams. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Uh, 115. Mutwe to baso ukataka hizi sehemu kwa jowa. Oh, okay. I don't have a price range. Praise the Lord. The correct answer is anything between <laughs> What is about one cup? 15. What is about one cup? 30. Anything between 129 and 148. Can I show you? Can I go for 148 where where? Okay, 100 points to you. Poke haraka faster. We now tied at 1600 points. Can you take the lead? This is the last one for you on this challenge. Ken Poli Tall Laundry Basket. Laundry basket. Aki Fred, usinipatie bei ya majabu na kuomba laundry basket. Na kuomba Ken Poli. Eh Ken Poli. <laughs> Ken Poli. <laughs> Ken Poli. <laughs> Pena bei ya kafasta. Olga na kuangalia hapo hivyo. Anashuku lakini ana option. Me agree? Olga? Yes. Umkubali? Twende kazi. Fred ni 375 375 Would you like to change your answer? No, niko nayo kwangu. Uko nayo kwa kwa. Mwanaume kiburi uko nayo. Edgar, challenge huu mtu, najua wewe pia uko nayo. Ni ngapi? Ah 450. 450? Okay. Pia uko nayo. Hapana. Ah, una. Ah, una. Una mixes. Una mixes. Okay. Because the correct answer <laughs> is anything between 370 and 390 gigabytes <laughs> therefore. You are right. I don't get some 388 to get one here. One hundred additional points. Okay. <laughs> the Nyaribos are now leading at 1700 points and Mbogi Tafash are at 1600 points. I don't know. Wewe angalia tu sura uamue. Who you think is gonna win? Mimi siwezi kukuambia. <laughs> But we're about to discover Mbivu na Mbichi in my favorite challenge of back to school. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. Quick, 
quiz show and we are on to our back to school challenge. We're going to test our contestants on how much they can remember of what they learned in school. So far, so good. Our leaders at 1,700 points, the Nyaribos, and hot on their heels is at is actually Tim Bogi at 1,600 points. As usual, we have our compulsory subject, which is Society. beautiful. And then we have optional subjects, which is science, mathematics, or ICT. The leaders will get the first chance to choose. So far, so good. Nigependa ni nani? Kama mkotahari. Ndugi yangu Fred. Nigependa ni nani? Waonaje? Haya, si lazima uone maana naanza nawe. Haya. Naomba jikakamue. Muda ni ule ule. Lakini maswali ni masita peke yake. Swali la kwanza ni hili. Andika wingi wa sentensi ifuatayo. Ua huo umetunzwa vizuri. Nyua hizo zime Sawa umepata. Seremala aliukata ubao kwa kutumia dash. Umepata. Nomino gani la makundi ni sahihi? Kilinge cha wachawi, fungu la noti, tonge la maji au tita la uji? Nomino gani ya makundi ni sahihi? Kilinge cha wachawi, fungu la noti, tonge la maji au tita la uji? Kilinge cha wachawi umepata mwalimu wao aliwafunza mengi neno wao ni kielezi kitenzi nomino au kimilikishi kielezi kielezi umenoa kiti kilichoundwa ni kizuri ki kwa kilichoundwa kimetumika kuonyesha nini ngeli umepata neno dawati huorodheshwa katika ngeli gani dawati Lia. Lia, umepata. Do, do. Ah. Wasomi kweli. Haya. Mwalimu wao aliwafunza mengi. Neno wao ni kimilikishi. Sio kielezi. Mmepata maswali matano sahihi, alama 500 zaidi. Hivi sasa mko na alama 1200. Haya, ndugu zangu ni. <laughs> Mkipata maswali yenu yote sahihi mtakuwa mko na alama sawia au sawa. Edgar, yeah. nikianza nayo ndakuwa nimekosea. Lahasha. Napenda hivyo. Swali lako la kwanza ni hili. Ugali dash ulikuwa mtamu sana. Tunasema wenye ile hiyo au wenyewe. Wenyewe. Umepata kanusha. Wageni wanatutembelea leo wageni hawatutembelei leo umepata njoo umuone umpendae jibu sahihi ni moto mzazi kioo au mwangaza mwangaza umenoa istiara kamene ni kinyonga ina maana gani rudia istiara kamene ni kinyonga ina maana gani pita pita haya salamu za jioni au usiku ni masalheri au sabalheri Sabalheri. Umenoa? Kaminisha metali. Ulimi hauna? Uh, pita. Ulimi hauna pita. <laughs> Ulimi hauna nini? Mfupa. Mfupa. Ulimi hauna mfupa. Kisha salamu za jioni tuwasema masalheri. Kisha kamene ni kinyonga ina maana ya kamene ni kigeugeu. Ni kigeugeu. Kigeugeu. Kisha njoo umuone umpendae kio kio sio mwangaza Hivi sasa mmepata uh, maswali matatu sahihi mmejongezea alama 300 mko na alama 1900 Haya ndugu zangu ni mko na nafasi ya kuchagua kati ya hesabu sayansi au somo la kiteknolojia ICT Tunakufa na gani? Hesabu. Hesabu? All right. Olga. Ona to begin with you. Uko na yeah. Okay. Do or die. Mukilala shida yenu. You ready? Yes. Okay. Divide 1000 by 100. 100. 10 10 10 10. 10. Correct. Is 13 a prime number? 13. 
Yeah, that's the prime number. Excuse yes, me. correct. How many seconds are there in four and a half minutes? Time is ticking. Four and a half. Four and a half minutes. How many seconds are there? Time is ticking. Pass. Pass. All right. How many centimeters are in a kilometer? Centimeters in a kilometer. Yes. Time is ticking. The time is running fast. 10,000 centimeters make one kilometer. How many? 10,000 centimeters. 10,000. Incorrect. What is 126 in Roman numerals? 126. In Roman numerals? Pass. Pass. All right. What is the total of a triangle's internal angles? 180. 180. Correct. Correct. Okay. You guys have gotten three questions correct. You are officially at 2,500 points. Four and a half minutes comprises of 270 seconds. We have 100,000 centimeters in a kilometer. And 126 in Roman numerals is CXXVI. Okay. You guys have a chance to topple this mkuje mkwe sawa if you get all questions correct in whichever subject you will pick you will tie at 2500 points and we will have a chance of having a tiebreaker mukijika kamua good for you magic is idi unga shaurien ICT science which one? ICT ICT patience I would like to begin with you Ready when you are. Are you ready? Yes. Question number one. How can you prevent spyware from accessing your computer? Uh, pass. Pass. All right. Which of the following are file extensions for audio files? TXT, SWF, JPEG, MPEG, MP3. MP3. Correct. Wide area network usually costs less than metropolitan area network to set up. Incorrect. What software is needed to create slideshows? Uh, PowerPoint. Correct. Which option is not a web browser? Google Chrome, Safari, iOS, Opera Mini? Safari. Safari. Incorrect. An information system that allows documents or files to be accessed worldwide via internet is called? Pass. All right. All right. There it was. An information that allows an information system that allows documents or files to be accessed worldwide via internet. Wild web. Wild web? Wild web. Wild web. Okay, web nita kupatia. <laughs> you guys have gotten one, two questions correct. You are at 2,100 points. Spyware. Inazui wa kutumia nini nugi yangu Edgar? Antivirus. Antivirus, antivirus. That was the answer I was looking for. And of course, wide area network does not cost less than metropolitan area network. Higher. You guys have tried, man. You guys have tried, Pesho. Minu nasikia ni kama disappointment ime kusu. Iani inakuuma ro. Aturudie. Close the tena. Close the. Edgar. Yeah. Tunarudia wa tukubali tu imeisha. Tuneza kuja tena. Tuneza kuja tena. But you guys have done a fantastic job. Fantastic job. You guys are sharp, brilliant. This is Timbogi Tafash, a.k.a. The Mwenges. Wonderful job. 2,100 points. Our leaders, Nyaribos. Muna kabu mechini, lakini hapa. I'm checking out. Karibuni, washindi. Washindi, karibuni. This is where you get the actual spotlight. Horgas mama hapa tufadhali. Fred, yes. Mother sick one imagine kiso ilu me iba ibo. Oh, baby lazy. Experience the kwaje. Kopoa. Yes. Ni vile apo kwa English mo lemo ni kama kufanya kazi sumo next week. Mo ni mo kwa English ali kuangusha. Olga, ibe kwaje. Ibe kwa sawa. Ibe kwa sawa. 
You guys have done an amazing job. You guys are extremely sharp. All right, we have Team Nyaribos taking the day. I don't know if you correctly predicted, but remember, for you to participate on this show, even as a family, Machango, send that number very fast to my message. Number is double two, triple nine. I'm at Wangalishani Mtandao at Freddy the Boss as per K. Tunakafunga with the way how I want to wanna just care. <laughs> so you see the machine So what when you yes. stay home hey. and leave your out. Yes. Please keep social distance. Yes. Sanitize your hands. Yes. And with water yeah. and, and with water and soap. Yes. Now maybe you are gonna talk same. Now maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh, so for me, Kenya's advice to all Kenyans who are watching: sanitize, wear your masks. So stay home. You stay safe and please support me in my group of Lay Beef Dancers. I'll appreciate it. Okay! Lay Beef Dancers? Lay Beef Dancers. Lay Beef Dancers! Alright, you heard it from the winners! See you next time! Remember, every Wednesday and Thursday, 8 30 pm 